Welcome to service. It's time to hear from the Word of God. Be blessed. See you later. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's wonderful to be in church again. So let's close our eyes, grateful to God for another day. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence, to hear your word. We open our hearts to receive your word. Thank you because your word brings freedom to us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, we are talking about a topic. Topic of the month, emotions. Emotions. Anger. Hmm. Why did she have to take my pen? I'm so sad. Why did mommy have to go? I hate the dark. So much lizards. Yippee! It's Christmas. I'm so happy. I'm so joyful. So these are the four basic emotions we have. These emotions are very temporal. For a short while, three minutes, five minutes, three days, five weeks, one month, one year. But after a while, those emotions freeze away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today we're talking about anger. Anger, 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 anger. Why did she take my pen? Why didn't she ask me? Praise the Lord. So what is anger? Anger is a type of emotion we have. When we are angry, when we feel someone has done something to us that isn't fair. And sometimes when we get angry, we always, most of the time, misbehave. We do the wrong thing. Now let's imagine this. We're about to watch a video. Of someone about to blend pepper, just pepper and onions, without covering the blender. The blender is going to go, everywhere will be messed up. The person's eye is going to pepper him. That's the way we behave when we are angry, if we don't put it under check. We should always and always remember who we are. Fine, people are going to make you angry. That's very sure. Bullies will make you angry in school. Sometimes you might feel mommy and daddy is wrong correcting you. That might make you angry. But it really matters on what you do when you're angry. Now, what would determine what you would do when you're angry is knowing who you are. Hmm. I love that because I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. I am a child of the living God. I'm a princess, you're a prince. We are sons of God. So there's a way a princess or a prince will behave. There's a way a servant will behave. We are no more servants. We are now children of the living God. So no matter how much we get angry, we cannot and should not do things that will hurt other people. Some of us have a way of, you know, suppressing our anger at the time it happens. She took my pen. Okay. I know exactly what I will do. Tomorrow is her birthday. I will go, I'm going to spoil her cake. You know, things like that, we shouldn't do it. And some of us, once we get angry, why is it sitting on my chair? I sat down there before I went to the toilet. And then you just come, pull the chair off her, and then she falls down. Or better still, some of us might even slap. We know that children of God shouldn't do that. It's fine to be angry, but it's not expected of children of God to sin even when they're angry. We know the things we shouldn't do. Our Father is love. God is love. So we should always love even when we are angry. How many of us can remember the song? I have joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy. Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart today. So if we know we have joy down in our hearts, there's a way we will behave even when people hurt us. Even when people get us angry. 
Praise the Lord. Our memory verse tells us that we have joy. Our memory verse always also encourages us that we should be glad. You know when you are glad and rejoicing? Imagine you are having a party and you are happy, happy, and someone is even making you angry. You will still be happy. That is at the behavior of a child of God. No matter what, we should always remember who we are. Anger rests in the bosom of food. So we shouldn't keep the anger. Some of us will keep for, for three days. You have meditated, you have imagined how you are going to get back. No, 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 no. Children of God don't do that. We know how to manage our hunger. One of the ways to manage the hunger is for us to also read the Bible. We are encouraged every Sunday, every week that we should read our Bibles. For those of us that cannot read, we pull mommy and daddy and tell them, Mommy, daddy, you have to teach me the word of God. You have to have devotions with me. Let's remind mommy and daddy this week that we have to read the Bible. Praise the Lord. So what do we do when we are angry? Remember who we are. And also remember our memory verse from Psalm 9 verse 2. Psalm 9 verse 2 says, I will be glad. I will rejoice. Do you know what that means? He's saying I will be glad. Do you know when someone is, when you're happy or when you're in a party and you're just dancing? And you're just, that's how God expects us to behave. That we are children of God. We are always happy. That we are always and always happy. I remember verse in Psalm 9, verse 2. I will be joy, I will be glad. I will be glad. I will be glad. Let's say it out. Let's say it to ourselves. I will be glad. I will rejoice in the most high God. The most high, remembering that the most high God is our Father. Hmm. You can imagine having God as your father. So there's a way you would behave. You will not let the anger overtake you. You will make sure your blender is always covered. Such that when you are blending, you don't splatter everywhere. When you are angry, you don't spoil everything. When you are angry, you don't mess up everything. Sometimes we do things to hurt other people and end up hurting ourselves. So if our father is love and we are children of God, not just any child, we are prince and princesses, then definitely there's a way we behave when people get us angry. Praise the Lord. I believe next time when you are angry, do you remember this? I will rejoice and be glad in the most high God. Our memory verse, Psalm 9, verse 2. So let's say our prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for teaching us today. We thank you because you will let your word so much planted in our hearts that anytime we get angry, we we'll remember who we are children of the living God. Praise the Lord. So our homework is our text. For those of us that don't like reading the Bible. So we are going to be forced to read the Bible this time around. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to be forced. We're going to read the Bible. The story where Moses was asked to strike the rock. We're going to tell mommy and daddy to read it to us. Explain it to us. And then those of us that can read, you're going to read it and understand it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They're going to read it and explain it. So that when you are in church, they're going to explain it to your teacher. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's enjoy our week. Let's have a blessed week. See you next week. God loves you. Welcome back, everyone. We believe that you learned something new. This week, you are blessed and favored. So... Now, I'm turning you over to God, a marvelous God, whose gracious word can make you into what he wants you to be and give you everything you could possibly need in this community of holy friends. See you next week. Bye.